Hello, Rob Papen here. Quad was the first ever rack extension synthesizer built from the ground up for reason by the Rob Papen team and is now also available as VST, audio unit and AAX plugin. The Sonic palette is huge through the vast modulation possibilities that Quad has to offer. The sound sculpting tools start in each oscillator and are the phase distortion and wave shaper. Those tools are brought to life by two XY pads in each oscillator, which can be moved through an extensive modulation matrix or simply by MIDI latching. Quartz oscillators are completed with two top-notch analog model filters, which have different routing options, an apaturator, and two high-quality FX processors. Welcome to the new refreshing Quad, not only available on Reason, but available to all other music programs. So let's go a bit more into detail. Quad has two oscillators which include a vast range of analog modeled waveforms and spectrum waveforms. Each oscillator also has a sub oscillator which offers two waveforms. If you move the dial to the left from the center, it generates a sinus waveform. And if you move the dial to the right from the center, it generates a square waveform. You can generate a multiple oscillator sound using the spread dial. And there is also an analog drift dial for simulating analog drifting of the oscillator. But of course, the feature that makes Quad different from all other Rob Harpen synthesizers are the phase distortion and wave shaper found inside each oscillator. Let me show you this by using a simple sinus waveform and then adding phase distortion and the wave shaper. There's a whole list of different types available for both phase distortion and the wave shaper. By using the modulation matrix, you can move the X and Y parameter. For example, by using one of the LFOs. But you can also MIDI latch the X and Y parameter and use this to dynamically change the phase distortion and wave shaper using your hardware controller. The phase distortion and wave shaper found inside each oscillator are at the heart of Quad. But there is more inside the oscillator too as well. You can find an additional modulation section in which you can use oscillator 1 for modulating oscillator 2 in many different ways. And yes, you can shut off oscillator 1 from going into the filter so that it is only used as a modulator for oscillator 2. On top of that, this section also offers a string model or car plus strong model with length control and damping control. So inside the oscillator section of Quad, you will find a ton of options for sound sculpting. The next section you can find in Quad are the two filters. These can work in serial mode, parallel mode and OSC mode, which means that oscillator 1 goes into filter 1 and oscillator 2 goes into filter 2. Each contains a huge selection of 36 different filter types and each with its own envelope and several modulation controls. Next up, there is an amp section with the volume envelope, velocity control and panning control. The modulation matrix we have mentioned already for modulating the X and Y of the oscillator's XY fields. 
There are two envelopes and LFOs in Quad, which both have also the option to be tempo-based. They and also many MIDI sources can be connected in this modulation matrix to the many parameters of Quad, including the FX section. The play mode of Quad sets how this synth voices play. It can be polyphonic, monophonic, monophonic legato and several unison modes with detuning amount control and stereo spread amount control. Also Portamento is available in the play mode section. And of course one of the play mode selections is ARP and also ARP playing with unison active. In the lower right corner you will find the ARP section with on off per step and velocity per step. But also several ARP modes are included and even a mode that you can use the ARP as a modulator if Quad is in poly, mono or legato mode. Quad has two FX blocks. FX1 can be Chorus, Ensemble, Flanger and Phaser, which both are tempo-based and widener. FX2 has a stereo delay and a top-notch reverb, which uses an algorithm from RP Verb. Inside FX2, you also can combine the delay and reverb in two routing ways. Well, as well as the main screen, Quad also includes the Bank Manager, which you might know from our other recently released instruments. It has many handy features, for instance the Star feature, which allows you to quickly find the presets which you have previously liked. Sure, Quad also has a back panel with additional global features. On the panel, you can select another screen size, which is of course also possible to select in the preset menu. On the back panel you also can arrange the global tuning settings, different tuning tables, MIDI program chains and so on. Last but not least, it has four rubbers on the back panel to protect your computer screen from scratches. Of course I'm just kidding. Enjoy Quad!